know some people had asked about the M&P shield and wide hollow points. These are just some berries target hollow points that I loaded up. Um, we're going to see if they function. I've got seven rounds loaded. I'd never had an issue with the hollow points before um, in this gun, but apparently it's been coming up. And some people say that the wide cavity hollow points don't function well. So that's really all we're doing. Uh, a little too far for my steel. You know, screw it. We'll try to hit it. We'll see what we get. Snappy. We'll shoot the old dummy over here. Seem to function well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where the idea came from that they didn't work well, but we're going to throw a few more here in the mag and see what we get. That mag functioned flawlessly. I will say, these are 124 grain target hollow points from berries, like I said before. Loaded over, I want to say, 4.2 grains of Winchester 231 powder with CCI small pistol primers. For anybody that was curious, um, that's my load specs on that. Let's shoot Joffrey some more. Yeah, we've got reviews up on this gun. I will drop a link in the description. Uh, feel free to check it out. Pretty cool gun. I don't talk about it a whole lot because don't really recommend them. I have another video coming out on why I don't recommend guns in this size for carry too often, so stay tuned for that. I'm sure somebody will get the feelings hurt. Alrighty, stay safe, keep shooting. I'll see you next time.